Here with Kira Batara after a dominant performance here in Combat America. How does it feel? It feels great. All the hard work, dedication, all the sacrifice I gave, it all paid off tonight. I knew that I put in so much time, so much energy, sacrificed so much to be here tonight, and it all paid off. Liz McCarthy is supposed to have amazing hands, but you took her apart standing up on the ground with the takedowns, with everything. You just dominated every single round. I know that um, we have been training partners. Uh, it was three years ago. I know that we are constantly evolving. We're constantly changing our game plans. There's no way that I underestimated her. I gave her a very strong advantage for her striking, being that she is lightning Liz McCarthy. They're saying she has some of the fastest hands in women's MMA. Um, I know that she's gone against some of the best girls in Invicta, and I knew that this fight tonight was how I was going to make my statement and make some waves in the atomweight division. And being that I'm the first person to finish uh, Liz McCarthy, I know that this is going to be big things for me. Was it your timing? Was it your mental focus? How did you dominate so completely tonight? I think a lot of it has to do with my mental toughness. Um, I'm just so much stronger mentally. I know that I have such a big heart. I have such a great support system. My mom's my manager. My dad's one of my head coaches. My brother's one of my main training partners. I have a little sister that kind of takes me away from the MMA scene, keeps me focused, keeps me as a girl, being the happy fighter, because everyone knows a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. Um, I think with the strong support system that I have that I was just tougher, I was happy, I was relaxed, I was confident going into this fight. There was nothing wrong. I knew that um, with my mind state that this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. This is my fight. This is my time. Training and sparring and fighting is one thing, but having the cameras on you, knowing that it's going to be broadcast to 70 different countries, everyone is watching. How do you handle the nerves? Uh, I think it's great. They call me Mogwai. Um, if you know the rules of the Mogwai, don't feed them after midnight, don't put them in bright lights, don't... Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I get under those bright lights, I get fed after midnight, I'm going to turn into that little gremlin. Like, I love this. I love the attention. I love being on camera. I love being able to inspire girls all around the world. Like, I, wanna, I want little kids to look up to me and be like, I want to do that. I think that's awesome. I want to be the superhero for those, uh, all those kids around the world and all the women that don't believe in themselves, all the women that without confidence. I was bullied a lot in high school, and so being able to be that kind of figure for other people means a lot to me. It actually looks really good on you. Talk to us about the shaved head. The shaved head had a lot to do with it, actually. Um, being that I was bullied in high school, um, I was always trying to be someone that I wasn't, always trying to impress people with how I dressed, how I acted. I did cosmetology for a little bit. I was a cheerleader for a long time. Just always kind of doing the status quo. And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to shave my head. I'm going to go against the status quo. Like, I don't care. Like, I feel awesome in my own skin. Like, this is who I am. I'm a fighter. Like, I don't need hair to fight. And so being that um, I shaved my head, it was a big step for me. Uh, I was very nervous to do it, but I, I feel great. Like, I feel like me. This is, this is exactly who I am. And I noticed that during the last round, Liz was actually adjusting her hair and it seemed like her hair was getting in the way. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. Yeah. I tell people that all the time. Like, hair is, it's hard for a female. Like, we have to worry about who's going to get our hair braided and it's in our way. Always in practice, people would get mad at me. But, oh, I need to fix my bobby pin. I need to fix my hair. It's like, it's, you're wasting time. Like, I'm not here to waste time. I'm here to fight. Mm. Talk to us about the finish. <laughs> the finish. I needed the finish. I had Eddie Bravo in my corner. He's actually uh, one of the main people that got me to be the fighter I am today. Um, I didn't want to wrestle. I hated wrestling. And he told me, if you want to be a fighter, the way is to be mentally strong, mentally tough. Be a wrestler. Be a grinder. Um, I quit after my freshman year. I said, I don't want to do it. And he said, no, you need to wrestle. You're going to be You're gonna be amazing. You're going to own the world. Was after that, I, I took over. I, uh, I was the first woman in um, my high school that made it to state finals and I was undefeated all year except for the state finals. After this I feel like that every fight that I have is because I wrestled and so I really thank Eddie Bravo for that and having him in my corner tonight I, I knew that I was going to get that finish. I had the Associated Press guy next to me and he really didn't know a lot about fighting so he was asking me advice and he said have you seen any high level jujitsu tonight? I said yeah the girls match. Did you see how she took her time with position and trapping the other girl's arm? That was high level grappling. <laughs> thank you so much. It is. It's not just a fight. It's not a street fight. We're a mixed martial artist and I do believe that it is an art form. I try to make it as grindy and beautiful as possible. Like I'm going to grind you out. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to be nasty, but I'm going to make it pretty. I'm going to have beautiful technique and I'm going to have everything that you're not going to be able to stop. Definitely you put a lot of psychological pressure on her and you would not relent tonight and uh, your training and your hard work and your dedication, everything showed perfectly. I'm that gremlin. I was fed after midnight and I told them in the interview.
It, it's my night. I'm going to turn into that gremlin as soon as I get under those bright lights. It's my time. This is my fight. Congratulations on a picture perfect finish. Thank you so much.